Hello. Hey, Jazz Jazz. Good morning to you. It's my morning, kind of. Um, I wanted to do a quick live um, to basically uh, give some little Brendan updates. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing the <clears throat> Positively Brendan next this Friday. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I think I'm going to take the day off. And then uh, Saturday I was going to go hang out with a friend. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. So this is basically going to be in replacement of that. Mm -hmm. Get out my notebook here. So as everyone may know already, Brendan was uh, tested positive for COVID. Um, he sends me an email every day since then. And um, so, so far he sounds like he's doing pretty good. Like he, he has no symptoms and um, he's in isolation, but he's doing good. As far as that goes, like no symptoms, he's not, no fever, so that's good. Um, he's keeping busy in isolation. Let's see. All right. Oh, it's easy. All right, so I wanted to get out my handy-dandy notebook. Can't reach that. And get um and look up what my I have all the Be Brendan Braves planned out for the next couple of months. So anyway, tomorrow um this Friday or Saturday's Be Brendan Brave is positive comments. So that's easy. Um so that's what that's gonna be. And uh Yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. He's doing good. Um, he's still getting letters, so make sure you still send him letters, especially right now being in isolation. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have, like, a cold, I think, for me, and that's why I'm so congested right now. It's another reason why I kind of want Friday to rest up. But, um, here's the address. Is it pop-up? Gonna pop up. There we go. All right. <laughs> Here's the address. Again, make sure you write the um, your return address on the envelope and on the actual letter. Uh, if you do not put the return address on the envelope, he will not get the letter. So make sure you do that. And um. Um. Let me see. Yeah, he told me he got a bunch of letters um, yesterday, so he's still able to get letters in isolation, which is awesome. Last time he was in isolation, he couldn't get letters. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, he's reading this book that I got him um, during the holidays, and he's finally gotten to it to read it, so... I need to start reading it and catching up on it, too, because we were supposed to read it together. So he was letting me know also that um, I suck because <laughs> I'm not reading it. So, <laughs> yeah. But other than that, he's doing pretty good. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on um, in the community, too. There's a lot of, like, negativity going on. Honestly, I kind of want to, like – take the rest of the week off and just concentrate on some positive things going on. And also I, I, um, I took up school, so I've been going to that and I want to kind of concentrate on that this weekend. Um, I haven't told my coworker behind me yet, but I might, I have a job interview. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Good job. So that's oh, another. 
Well, it's Monday, so that's another thing I wanted to concentrate on. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, she wants me to go for the the TNA. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Yeah, a temporary nursing assistant. I just take a little class, take a test. Right. So, some changes are happening, and yeah. Plus, I want to spend time with my family this weekend, and because I only get like one day off a week, and this weekend I get two days off, so <clears throat> yeah, it's just some stuff. But anyway, hi, Jasmine. <laughs> but yeah, I hope uh, everyone's doing good out there. Like I said, keep those letters going to Brendan. Um, keep the positivity going. Um, and, uh, yeah, also just like a little heads up for people who do send Brendan coloring pages. Um, apparently with this new text behind people, if you send Brendan like two or three pages of letters, um, they'll copy them back, back front to back rather than just giving him like instead of just copying two pages they'll copy them front to back. So if you send him a coloring page, like a couple of coloring pages, they send it to him front to back. And he he doesn't like that because he uses markers to color in and they bleed through the other side. So then he can't color the other picture. If that makes sense. So what I've been doing when I send him my coloring pages and it's annoying, like it's, it's pretty annoying and it's probably you know it's an extra stamp and envelope but I send to him um one coloring page in an envelope and that's it so it's kind of funny I have like a whole stack right now of like 10 envelopes <laughs> each has an individual coloring page in it that I've been slowly sending out to him you know but I mean that's the way it's just going to have to go that's for him to get it, you know, and then make sure that he gets, you know, it right. So well, what can you do other than keep complaining to text behind and um, maybe they'll do something. Um, <clears throat> I did say this in the last live Friday, but Brendan got, thank you, Jasnaz. Um, Brendan got a slip with 44 saying that he had 44 undeliverable letters. And um, he, so he wasn't able to get 44 separate letters from text behind. And they gave him an example as to why, like they photocopied one envelope to show him why. And there was no return address on the envelope. That's what I mean by he won't get it if you don't put your return address on the envelope. And <clears throat> I say put it on the actual letter, too, just for good measure, because sometimes you can't read it very well on the envelope. But, yeah, so that's why, you know, 44 different people. And I think this has been since December. So since December, um, people that have been sending him letters and stuff, um, he wasn't able to get. So just a heads up, guys. It's really important. The letters are really important to him. They're like his lifeline. And it really, it really, uh, it wasn't like, like, I don't want to say it was like upsetting, but it was upsetting to him that he couldn't, because it wasn't necessarily just that he couldn't get those letters. He felt like you guys wasted your time sending him. You know what I mean? Like, he felt bad for you guys, the ones that he couldn't get the letters, because he finds it a privilege to get these letters too from you guys. Like, he really treasures them. And, you know, just the fact that, like, oh, th all these people, you know, took time out of their day to send me a letter and I can't even read it. Like, that that was a bummer to him. So, yeah. Um, I did want to do a live 
sometime this week, but I just couldn't get to it because I wanted to talk about an article I saw online. I don't... Hold on. I'm going to pause here for a minute. I may not... You may not be able to hear me. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sometimes when I do that, it won't let me talk, so that's why I wasn't talking. But anyway, um, oh shoot, I'm gonna have to do it again. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, I just posted the comment in the chat. All right, so this is a news article that I saw. Basically, it's a Wisconsin bill. Um, <clears throat> it's basically a bill being proposed in Wisconsin. Um, parole extended. Hold on, let me. Maybe I can do this. Oh, I don't think I can. I was hoping I could bring up <clears throat> I'm on my phone oh I can do background music on my phone that's new what does this do My goodness. Yeah, I could play I could play music during my live. <laughs> In the background. Ooh, lo fi. I love lo fi music. Lo fi? L O F I. It's like Really chill, kind of like. No, it's it's chiller than an elevator music. Oh. It's just I don't know how to explain it, but I love using it on TikTok with my with my TikToks. Oh yeah. Okay. So the reason why they need a return address on the envelopes, um, I'm guessing, is that that way, if there's a problem, they can return it back to you. Um, one of the things about Text Behind also I noticed is that if you go to the website textbehind.com and you put <clears throat> um, and you put in uh, and you set up an account with textbooking.com, you can put your return address in and, and then they could pretty much, you could track your progress of your letter or keep track of it through the website. So like if I send a letter to, to Brendan with my return address and I have an account with text behind, I could write to text behind and say, Hey, Brendan since he hasn't gotten the letter yet. And, um, uh, and they could actually look it up in their system and say, oh yeah, here's your letter. Now, why does that matter with giving him the letter? I have no idea. Like, why does it, like, 
if there's no return address on it, he should still get the letter, right? Now, originally when I messaged Sex Behind, because I looked on their website before Brendan got this new mailing system. And on the website, it does say it needs to have a return address on it. Now, I message text behind because there are certain companies that people send Brendan cards and letters through, which are Moonpig. And Moonpig, I know people don't believe me when I say this because, because it's coming from me, I guess. But Moonpig does not have return addresses on their cards. So, and I know a lot of people send him Moonpig cards, and that's like, I know it's a third party, but anyway. So I asked them, should he be able to still get Moonpig cards because they don't have this, that, and whatever? And they said, yeah, absolutely. You should be able to get that still, even without a return address. So I was like, cool. Well, now we're finding out that they can't get that because it's in the rules. So I don't know who in text behind was like, oh, yeah. I don't know, it's like the IRS. Like when you call the IRS and ask them advice on your taxes and they give you advice, they have the right to say it's not official advice, which is stupid. Anyway, so yeah, I don't know why there, it matters that there's a return address other than maybe they want they're, they're trying to say you, they're holding somebody accountable for what you're sending maybe I don't know but the music stopped it was supposed to be on a loop nope there it goes that's a pretty cool feature isn't it anyway so That's what I'm thinking too, Jazz Naz, is they want to keep people, they want to have a list of, like, but definitely, I think it's it's also monitoring and, like, like, let's say I send Brendan something um, inappropriate and it gets passed, X behind, and it goes to the prison, then they still have record at the prison of who sent him it. You know what I mean? So maybe that's more or less what that is. Um, yeah. But either way, just me, I just want to make sure everyone is aware of that. Um, moon pig cards <laughs> do not have a return address on them. So he does not get those. And I know there are people out there who do not like believe me I've gotten moon pig cards um so I know there there's no address on them he's not gonna get them he hasn't been getting them so unless you guys write to moon pig and have them change something in their way they do it you know um <clears throat> But yeah, check out the news article I posted in in the link back in the in the in the comments. Um, I was hoping I could share a screen, but I don't think you can. Oh, I could post a comment from here. Well, that's new too. I didn't used to be able to do that. Um. Yeah, it's not really... We enjoy the music because it feels like there's still something going on at night, even when I'm not talking. Oh well. Um, I keep moving. <laughs> you won't let me scroll. Well, let me do this. Oh. 
Let me. Okay, I'm back. I just got another email from Brendan. Uh, he's doing good. He was just telling me about the drawings that I sent and the coloring, all the coloring he's been doing. So here is. Stop it. Okay. I'm going to do it this way. to show the article since I can't do share screen from my phone. It's loading, hold on. There we go. All right. So this is the new, this is the article basically. Um, new Wisconsin bill requires parole extended supervision options for people sentenced before the age of 18. And it goes on talking about how um, they're going to re-look at parole options for people who have been sentenced um, basically as minors, which is really awesome for Wisconsin, considering Brendan's situation. Question would prevent courts from extending parole under the age of 18 to life in prisons But here's the article from where it was. Um, it, it's in the comments if you guys want to read it. I might do a better live reading it to you. But, it, I mean, basically, you can read it yourself also. Like, I just want people to be aware that this is something that they're considering in Wisconsin. Which may help Brendan. You know, anything, anything may help Brendan, you know? Hey, Broken Justice, True Crime. We're just kind of shooting the breeze in here. Talking about an article that was just posted that I that I, I found online. Um, I can't read. I'm on my phone, so I can't read it to you guys very well. But I posted it, the link to it in the comments if you guys want to read it yourselves. It's basically about a new bill 
about parole options for people under the age of 18. And I mean, Brendan was sentenced when he was 17. So that would have been something really awesome for him. And hopefully if it's passed, it's something he can benefit from. Because one of the problems with his case, you know, not only is he, um, not only was he sentenced, you know, at the age of 17 for basically life, but his next parole date, um, he would be up for parole in 2048 when he's like in his 60s. And that's, that's his whole life in prison right there. Um, so even if he had a chance of um, life outside of prison, it won't be until he's 60. But if a bill like this came about, then there might be hope for a sinner on a parole date. Which is, I know, I mean, obviously he needs to be exonerated. Right, because he's innocent. He didn't, he didn't commit the crime, but I'm also on the, like, whatever gets him out of there. You know what I mean? I'm all for whatever gets him out of there, as long as it's ethical and legal. Like, obviously, we're not going to break him out, but... So, yeah, we're just chilling with some lo-fi music. Not much. Um, I also talked about Brendan's. Um, he was diagnosed, not diagnosed. Well, he he was tested positive for COVID. That's what they call it. Um, so he has been tested positive for COVID on Tuesday. He's been in isolation, but he's showing no symptoms. So that's good. Um, that he was actually telling me Saturday that they're good they were gonna test right broken justice they were telling uh saturday they were he was telling me saturday that the they were gonna come out there and test um like a certain percentage of inmates um i think he said because he's vaccinated so they were gonna test 80 percent of the unvaccinated and 20% of the vaccinated. So he, I guess, was lucky, was drawn for that because he is vaccinated. And uh, he got, he was telling me how, you know, oh, well, there's like a certain percentage of it being um, false positive and how he was worried about that because isolation's no fun as it is. Um, but, you know, he, uh, he just because when last time he was um, positive for COVID, um, he was isolated for two weeks. They wouldn't let him have his tablet. Um, he couldn't get letters. He basically was only a you know very. I don't think he was allowed his TV or radio. They transferred him to another cell. Like he was he was he just wasn't having fun. He was miserable. Um, but this time around, so he got positive for COVID, but he's showing no symptoms. So I'm thinking it was a false positive, like he thought it was going to be. Um, he, he's feeling fine. He's not allowed to make phone calls, which he's bummed about. Actually, he can make phone calls now. Um, he's, he, he can have his tablet. So he's been emailing me like twice a day now. Um, and he was telling me that, um, at 10 PM his time, he can make one phone call. So he called his mom last night and probably again tonight. He's going to be calling me Saturday night. So I'm excited about that. Um, he normally calls me on Saturday morning, so I didn't get a phone call last Saturday because he got tested positive for COVID. But that's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but it's okay that... Yeah. Anyway. Um, 
But he's doing good. He's he's allowed to have his tablet. He's been watching movies. He's been catching up on his reading. He's got a bunch of books that he's been reading through that he's been catching up on. Uh, um, he's able to still get letters, which is why I was telling people, you know, make sure if you want to send him a letter. We mentioned the L word, so let me put the picture up. Um, yeah, so if you want to send him a letter, here's his address. Um, he'd love to hear from everybody, as long as it's positive, obviously. Um, just saying hi or whatever, but make sure you put your return address on the envelope. And, um, I'm sorry you have COVID broken justice. I hope you get better sooner than later. Yeah, he was vaccinated. Um, so, you know, it's also possible that he he does really have COVID, but he's showing very little symptoms because of the vaccine. And it's hard to tell. So. But yeah. Um, what's night driving sound like? Ooh, this is another chill one. Okay, so, yeah, but yeah, other than that, he, you know, he's doing pretty good, um, he's also, like I said, I just got an email from him just a few seconds ago, um, he just finished another coloring page. There's a lot of corruption, um, broken justice in Wisconsin itself. There's a lot of corruption. Um, basically, the whole state of Wisconsin will, won't let Brendan or Steven out without a fight. And unfortunately, um, even when it left the state, uh, it still had better chances of of change, of letting him out, but when he went to the Seventh Circuit, um, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, the judges, I think, felt that there were two judges that were on Brendan's side, definitely. And then, because when you first go to the Seventh Circuit, um, you have Two, three judges that sit, stand before you. And two of the judges were on Brendan's side, but one of them wasn't. Or something like that. And um, so then they had to do all seven judges a second time. But anyway, it's just a lot of people feel that Brendan's confession wasn't coerced, it was voluntarily gives. Um, a lot of higher uppers, and that's where we have the issue: is trying to show that it was coerced. I mean, a lot of people see obviously that it was coerced. We have scientists showing scientifically how it was coerced, but you know, it's trying to convince these judges. But um, hopefully, they're working on something else that is because they. I don't think they can use the coercion. Oh, wow. That makes me so sad. Broken justice for your son. That's, yeah, I mean, that's his whole childhood. Just And then he's growing up in prison, just like Brendan. So, yeah, that's almost exactly because Brendan's 32 right now. And he was sentenced at, he went, he was arrested at 16, but he was sentenced, I think, at 17, so. But yeah, it's just, um, hopefully his lawyers have some plan. MLR. 
Yeah, hopefully his lawyers have some sort of plan because they can't go back to they can't go back to the courts with the same. So before they went for with his confession and how it was against constitutional rights and a habeas corpus and all that, and um, now because that went all the way up to the Supreme Court, now they can't use that again. So now they have to start all over from square run. They have to do some other angle. Um, I'm, so I'm not really sure what they're planning on doing. Obviously, they haven't really been forthcoming. The last thing that Laura Nyrider said is that they're working on something, but they can't talk about it. Oh my gosh, wrongful convictions are expensive. I'm so sorry that happened to you and your family broke injustice. But yeah. Um... I've been blabbering on for 30 minutes. <laughs> so unless anybody has any questions, uh, I'm probably going to... Yeah. Get back to work. <laughs> well, I sleep through the day. Kind of. Ooh. Sorry, I dropped my phone. Yeah. I just hope that something happens soon with Brendan's case and he can get out. Try to put happy thoughts out there that it will be soon. Does your channel, Broken Justice, does your channel have your story about your son on it? I'd love to check it out. Um, oh, I, uh, I did get, um, I did get, uh, I was asked to do rally t-shirts and I did finish them and I have them printed out and ready to send off to, <laughs> sorry, Stevie and Brendan for them to look at. I want to get there okay first before I 100% post them. And the uh, TTM fangirl, she did an amazing job with the banner. She created a banner from the rally coming up in July. So... Everything's in motion for that. So I hope a lot of people decide to come out. Um, another woman, uh, Sammy, she's working on, um, she's going to make flyers for the rally. And she's also going to make like a nice itinerary for us. So as soon as I get that, I'm just going to do a live and kind of talk about um, Yeah, please do, Broken Justice. I'd love to learn more about your story because, you know, just the fact that your son was incarcerated at 17 and then released at 32. Um, you know, I don't know the circumstances of anything about it, obviously. Uh, but just, just how similar it sounds to Brendan's, um, it's kind of inspirational to me um, and gives me a little bit of hope that you know, Brendan, too, can be released soon one day. So, yeah, please send me the link. I'd love to read up on it and maybe even feature it on here and to give other people hope about Brendan's, you know, Brendan does have hope to get out. And I'd love to tell him about it, too. Because I know Brendan would take you know, take peace in that and hope in that, that one day he'll be coming out too. If it, you know, if it happened for one person, it'll happen for him too. So. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end this.
Um, thank you, everyone, for joining me tonight. Um, if you have any questions, uh, comments, suggestions, anything, don't be afraid to reach out to me on Twitter. Um, uh, or on Facebook or wherever. Um, my Twitter is in the description. Um, I always, you know, I'm here to help however way I can. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone has a good night. And, um, yeah, no problem. Thank you, Jazz Nest. Thank you, Broken Justice. Much love to you all, and I'll see you all later. Dang it. <laughs> keep um, pressing the wrong thing that's why okay alright let's see how this works with, with the music Gloria.